Hello everybody, welcome back to the training in Automodicon M221. In this video we're going to see the alarm views that we have for the TMH to GDB remote display that we can connect to the Modicon M221. So let's go to the presentation. This is something important when we want to show the operator or another person that the machine has a fault, okay, has an alarm. So we have like a template for alarms inside this uh, this display, which is this one. So, in general, okay, in the top left of the display, which you can see over here, in this part, it is the space for show that we have an alarm. Okay, and when we have an alarm, when you configure this, it appeared indication alarm and inside the alarm view okay we can see the history alarms and over here okay you can see the actual alarms or the history of alarms okay and if you have the history of the alarm you can see the date and time when you have trigger okay and in the actual view you can see only what is the actual alarm activated okay so Let's continue with this. And there are some important bits that we can use in order to, for example, this bit, the percentage S123, by default is in zero, but if it's in true, when we have an alarm, okay, it will show the display in red, okay? And the another important bit is the S122, which allows you to directly go into the alarm view, okay, without uh, without configure something in order to go to that specific view, okay, it's just doing automatically. If we continue with this, in order to add, there is nothing to add, okay, by default on the setup, there is the alarm view, it has all this information, okay, so if we go to display we go to the setup alarm view we can see the elements and the elements are the variables that can trigger the alarms and when we fill this with the variable we must assign a text and once we assign the test we need to add into the elements for that alarm view these are the different elements that we can add okay the different variables that we can add you can see the input output the percentage m the system and also the percentage nw but we need to use the bits okay and here you can see a small example for each of them so what we're going to do now is to use the previous application to show the alarms in the past we have defined from this range for m101 to if I'm around 110 sound alarms so we're going to use those and we're going to use the key R2 inside the alarm view in order to change the status or acknowledge the, the alarms that we have so we're going to do this so let's go to the application that we have so display we just need to go to setup alarm view Okay, there is no way to change the title, as you can see over here, we can specify a help, and here you can see the page index. So if we go to elements, we just need to go here to the variables, and, and, and let me just check the name that I have put for this. So I have specified as al01 exit time then you need to add this into the application add you can see it's added this is not the final view okay it's just an indication do you want to see this part now percentage m102 i'll zero two for me it's much better always to specify like a code and then the meaning and this one let me just see service add and this one so we can really trigger this al03 auxiliar 
okay so we have already configured that so let's continue with the part of the presentation this part is check so now what we're going to do is to define one of these um, actions or keys that we have over here an action to acknowledge okay the uh, the alarm that we have so I'm going to use an additional variable m100 to acknowledge okay that and I'm going to add this code at the end of the PRG alarms okay so let's go to the application over here r2 I'm going to specify function write value variable percentage m100 value true one so now we need to go to programming alarms and at the bottom over here I'm going to add the logic to reset this because it's going to be always activated and it's not idea and 100 okay so final round we have already changed this okay AC key we need to change the name I believe I haven't changed that let me see nope we haven't changed this so we can rename the button okay you can see this one over here ACK there we go it will be the acknowledge so now we need to do something else here TMH2 I'm going to add over here the percentage s one to two and percentage and one to three in order to see the display part okay I just go back over here okay I'm going to show the display I'm going to connect to the PLC going to download the application yes all right it's almost there okay it has finished okay good so um what we can do okay because I don't want to execute the last shake, I'm just going to trigger this. So pay attention in the HMI in the left part. Okay. As you can see here, you have the activation and indication that we have an alarm. Okay. So we can go to the alarms over here, and you can see the exit time is enabled. So we can go to the history over here. You can see that indication over there. So we can trigger this, disable, and you can see the arrow over there. So if it's pointing up, it means that it has triggered, and this one is held back to normal. If we go back to the actual alarms over here, you can see there is nothing activated at the moment. Okay, so in order to check that I can acknowledge this, I'm going to manually activate it, as you can see over there. And now I'm going to press this one for the acknowledge. Okay. And the we have acknowledged the alarm. Okay. So let's go back to the home menu. Okay. Which is the conveyor that we have. And now let's activate this one. If it's one, okay, it will automatically switch to the alarm view. So I'm going to activate this alarm. And it goes directly to the web page, to the web page, sorry, to the display part for the alarms. I'm going to acknowledge. I'm going to go to the menu, to the home. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to remove this zero. Now I'm going to activate this percentage S123 that, that allow me to change the view, okay, in red. When the alarm is activated so if we go here there we go you can see it's in red okay in if i 
acknowledge this let me just go back probably you cannot see it that red or is have some red trust me alarms acknowledge there we go we have changed the view okay i'm going to activate again probably you can see that flash red okay there we go now i'm going to disable okay so this is how you can play with the visualization of the alarms inside the the display as you can see it's very simple two variables to indicate if you go directly to the alarm web page and another variable in just to indicate that you can see everything in red that allows you to see okay we have a fault and how easily is to add the variables to the alarm view so this is it for this part for the alarms thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one